Welcome to DIY Golf Cars. Today we're going to be installing a All-American rear seat on this 1988 Easy Go Marathon. First thing we're going to do is go up here and check and make sure we have all of our parts. Then I'm going to come over here and start disassembling this. So let's go check our parts. Okay, first thing I want to do is go ahead and remove this basket. So I'll get my 916 socket and wrench and get started. Now, let's get a Phillips head screwdriver and let's take these seat backs off. Now with the 716 socket, I'll go ahead and remove these bolts. And we'll get the seat back out of the way. Now we'll do the same thing on that side. Okay, now that we've got the seat backs out of the way, we're gonna remove the uprights holding the roof. So, in order to do that, we're gonna take our 916 socket and wrench and remove these bolts that goes through here. It goes through the seat back support. Now, when you do that, be ready because you're gonna need something to support this roof when you take them out. And I just happen to measure from here all the way up to the roof is 44 inches. And I just happen to have a piece of wood laying here that's 44 inches. So let's go ahead and get these bolts out. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and remove this uh, bag holder assembly. And to do that, we'll take the bolt out that's at the very bottom here, which has got a half inch nut and a number three Phillips head screwdriver head on the other side. But to get to that, we need to get this seat cushion out of our way. Now that we've got our top bolts out, let's go to the very bottom one. There's a half inch bolt and half inch nut down at the bottom that's gotta be removed. Okay, now we've just got to get the seat back support out. Now, it was not that easy. You will have to do some uh, WD-40 like we did. A little bit of prying, twisting, but this will eventually come out. Next, we'll set this off to the side, retain our nuts and bolts that we just took out because now we're going to put the new seat back in. Now that I've got my seat back, so I'm going to put them right back into the brackets they just came out of. Of course, I did uh, clean that out, put some uh, WD-40 up and down there so it'll slide in a lot better. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set them in there until the holes line up. I'll go ahead and do both of them, and then we'll put the bolts right back in. Now, I've got both of these in. I've got the holes lined up. So now what I'll do is I'll just go ahead, tighten everything right back up, just like it was. This time to get the bottom bolts down here, I think I'm going to take this panel off by just using regular number two Phillips head screws and move this over to the starter generator. Okay, now if you don't have the bottom hole lined up, you can always take a Phillips head screwdriver, put it through this hole, line it up so you can get your bolt through with ease. Get our half inch socket and wrench and tighten it down. Okay, now it's time to go ahead and bolt the top supports to the seat backs. Now to do this, because there are so many different types of uprights, what we'll have to do is actually cut this piece and fit it to the height that you want it on your golf cart. On this one here, I've got it raised up a good bit. So what I can do on this one is either cut it down here and drill me a hole and bolt through here and I can bolt it through here. Or if this bend wasn't so steep or if you have a way to bend that a little bit straighter, you can actually bring it down to use this hole down at the bottom. But for this occasion, we're actually gonna be taking this back off this golf cart. So I'm not actually gonna cut this. 
This is an actual OEM piece and it's gonna stay here. So, this portion, we're just gonna get it out of the way. And now what we're gonna do is go ahead and put, start putting our seat base on the back of this car. Okay, now we'll get this base platform. Lay it very gently on the back of the car. And what we want to do is align these oblong holes along with these holes in the back using the bolts, washers, and nuts provided. Keep in mind while doing this, keep all of your nuts and bolts loose until you've completely done it, got everything together, then you can tighten everything up. Okay, now we'll put these supports in here. What we want to do is we'll have the short portion facing towards the back of the car. This upper portion here will go to the inside. Like so. We'll use the bolts that they give us with washer. Put it in here. But this is on a temporary. Now that I've got it in here, I want to make sure it's good and straight. I can tell that just by aligning the bottom down here. I'm going to type a sharpie, mark inside the hole down at the bottom. So now I'm going to use me a 1 8 drill bit to drill a pilot hole. Then I'm going to come back with a half inch drill bit and go ahead and drill that out so that it can come to the bottom portion of the frame. That way we'll have a good solid mount. Okay, now that we've got the hole drilled to the bottom, we can mount this little support. Now the bottom side, what we're going to do is we're going to put our bolt through. We're actually going to go through the long portion here because our foot rest will actually bolt to this. So we'll get our two inch bolts. Okay, we've got that bottom portion there ready to go. Let's start with the handrails. Now, there are portions sticking out on each side that are threaded. So what we want to do is get the one and a quarter inch bolts. It's got the 9 16th head on it. We go ahead and slide it onto the sleeve and start tightening it down. Now, keep in mind, we don't want them super tight. If it's off a little bit, like this one's off just about a quarter inch, just press in, and it'll pop right in the hole. Get this hand tight on both sides. Let's jump on the other side and do it. Now for our seat base. We'll notice that this part's got a curve on it with a hole in it. This will actually slide in and made up to where this piece of aluminum is so that we can put the bolt through. Now when putting it through, you'll use the inch and a quarter bolt with a washer. There's a plastic washer that comes with it. This will need to go in the middle between the outer frame and the inner frame. And regular washer and your nut. Get it pretty good hand tight and then do the other side the same way. Okay, now for our foot rest. We've got the longer bolts, which is about two, two and a quarter inch, which are gonna go through each side and through the framing here. And we've got the smaller one and a quarter that's gonna go through the back and through the holes located in the back here. So, let's get this thing started. Okay, now that we've got our foot rest secured, we're we'll gonna go ahead and put our seat back on. Now, because I'm not gonna leave this on here, I'm just gonna basically show you how it goes on here. We've got our four last bolts. We'll actually go through the four holes here on each side and go into 
little nuts that are in the seat back. So basically what we'll do is we'll get this one over here, get it started. Then we'll put the two bolts in here, put the two bolts in on the other side. Then we'll start from the bottom and work our way to the top and go ahead and tighten everything up and we'll be completely done. Well, I hope today's episode installed an all-American rear flip-flop seat onto a 1988 Easy Go Marathon was helpful. Keep in mind, this is a aftermarket seat and that you may have to tweak some things here and there because over time the frame can get bent on our old golf cart. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Once again, thank you for visiting us here at DIY Golf Cart.